Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, March 21st, the second day of spring 2021. And it's going to be a beautiful day here today in, in southeastern Pennsylvania. <clears throat> the mornings are still a bit chilly, but uh, sun sun is going to shine today. Looking forward to that. So I've got a... Something just fell. <laughs> got a couple of things I wanted to talk about today. And, and the, the first one is I want to do a VR to our buddy Armchair Piper Ed. Uh, Ed is having a giveaway to celebrate his one year anniversary in the YTPC. And I think that's just great. I can't believe it's already been a year, but uh, always have enjoyed Ed's videos. Good, good content. Um, and Ed's a good guy. So I'm going to do a VR. Uh, He's got a great contest going on, three different prize levels and, and all that. I'll, I'll put a link to Edge channel below. Uh, check out his video that describes this uh, this giveaway and uh, check out some of the responses, which have been fantastic so far. So what Ed has asked is he's asked us to describe a day in our pipe smoking life. Um, <laughs> my pipe smoking life sounds like the name of a bad teen novel. Um, and, you know, I, I kind of have done this before in somewhat abbreviated fashion. And I thought, oh, heck, it'll be fun to do. Now, Ed, I don't want to be entered in the contest. I've got more pipes than I know what to do with. But, uh, you know, do whatever you see fit with my, my entry. If you want to put my name in and choose somebody else or repick or, or whatever, it, it, it's up to you. But I'm doing this mainly just to promote Ed's channel and to let everybody else know that there is this great giveaway opportunity so get on over to edge channel and, and enter into the, into the giveaway so a day in my pipe smoking life okay a day in my pipe smoking life is like any other day in my life because I don't have days when I'm a pipe smoker and days when I'm not uh, eight o'clock coffee so I, in the first thing in the morning, typically let the dogs out in the yard and make a pot of coffee. Uh, my wife is a, she's more of a night owl, so she usually sleeps several hours later than I do. So I got this time in the morning all to myself, and I've got to admit, I've become kind of protective of that. You know, some days she gets up early, and I'm like, what are you doing up? You know. Uh, I love her dearly, but not not early in the morning. So, yeah, I, I get up fairly early and get the coffee going. Uh, dogs go out in the yard, you know, get get things kind of settled in, and then I'll usually sit down and I have a uh, bowl of Carter Hall. Typically, lately, I've been smoking uh, Pegasus. Uh, Sir Walter Raleigh fits the bill there and sometimes it's just straight on the bookshop I just go straight into on a bookshop so, some days depending on how I'm how I'm feeling uh, I don't know what that means I, I, I can't tell you why I, I choose one over the other those are all blends that I think go very well with coffee um, why the why the Carter Hall well for a long time that's just what I did I don't know why I liked Carter Hall and it would just be the first thing that I'd reach for But it does certainly have a um, uh, a good relationship with coffee. Let's just say that. By the way, this rather smoky mess. Uh, th this is Carter Hall, and it's in this uh, 7LE 622KS pot uh, with a custom stem. So, first bowl is going to be Carter Hall. I then will switch to Haunted Bookshop um, if I've got it, and I almost always have got it. Um, if I don't have it, I don't know what I'd do. I'd, there'd be some other burly base blend in there that, that, that I would pull out and smoke. You know, Old Joe Krantz would be a great option. Uh, some of the John Patton blends, Waybridge, uh, which is not a John Patton blend. But, 
so so there's there's a collection of things that I if I didn't have Wanda Bookshop available, but I've gotten to the point in my pipe smoking career, if you will, that uh, you know I I stock Wanda Bookshop because that's what I smoke. And that's pretty much what I'll do. I'll continue that in the same pipe. I uh, I usually only smoke one pipe during the day. Uh, with well, yeah, usually. Uh, I'll give you two exceptions to that uh, in a moment. So I will smoke on the bookshop for the rest of the day. Now, if I'm working down here, that could be anywhere from an additional five to eight bowls, uh, just depending on what I'm doing and, and how I'm feeling. So, you know, by, by the time all is said and done, I, I could be up to, to nine bowls of tobacco at, at the, by the end of the day. Now, what I usually, and, and the end of the day being 5 p.m., and what I will usually do is around three, four o'clock these days. Now, keep in mind, this is unique this past year because I don't go physically to work. I sit here in my basement. Uh, if I was going physically to work, it would be a completely different schedule. But around 3, 4 p.m., I get this sort of, I don't want to say craving, but just the desire for something a little different. And uh, so I have something a little different. And that could be anything. Uh, could be, like right now, Windjammer is uh, is one of the things that, I've, that, that I'm enjoying in that time slot. Uh, Grey Ghost uh, definitely was something I, I, I liked having then. Uh, even some of the lot of Kia blends I was smoking last month, um, they would they would fit well into that time. And then uh, it's usually dinner, and after dinner I'll mm, usually have a couple more bowls before I go to bed. So maybe another two, uh, possibly three if I stay up late. Um, or if I come down here after dinner, you know, I might I might have three before I go to bed. Uh, and that would be usually haunted bookshop. And sometimes at the end of the day, and I have no rhyme or reason behind this, sometimes at the end of the day, I'll swap in something else. So when I was smoking Grey Ghost, and unfortunately I'm, I'm pretty much out of it, I think I got one bowl left. Uh, that was something I liked to smoke right before going to bed. Um, no reason for it, just something different, you know. And that's pretty much it. Now, I said one pipe, and that's largely true, except if I'm down here working, like working on the lathe and stuff, and I know that my hands are going to be dirty, I typically wouldn't smoke a pipe like this. Now, I'll bring this pipe down here in the morning, and I'll smoke it while I'm getting things organized and all that. But then I've got a set of shop pipes that I'll switch to. And those I might keep out for you know, three or four days straight before I clean them and put them back. They're, they're shop pipes. Um, and I don't smoke them continually during the day, you know, just a bowl here, a bowl there. So that's one time when I don't have um, just the one pipe all day. The other time is Fridays, because on Fridays I smoke my uh, Matches Tribute Pipe, and I don't smoke anything in that pipe but Haunted Bookshop. So if I'm going to switch to something different, I always have a second pipe available. And if you watch my Friday live stream, you, you, you see me switch those pipes back and forth. Uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing really exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much a set-in-his-ways routine pipe smoker. So that's, uh, and that's my set-in-my-ways routine for you. And I hope that was, I don't know, entertaining. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to once again encourage everyone to go check out Ed's channel. The link will be below to his giveaway video. Ed, congratulations on a year in the YTPC. It's, uh, it's hard to believe it's been a year, but only because it's been so much fun having you with us. Uh, I'm looking forward to many more, my friend. So good luck with the, the giveaway, and good luck with your channel. So, spring.
spring started yesterday and I'm happy about that. Today I've got several things I want to do. I must get the fishing gear in order. I don't. It's going to happen today or during this week. We'll get it figured out. I want to remind everyone, and you've, you've almost certainly seen the, the news by now, um, our good friend Chad Yardism is uh, fighting COVID, and it's a pretty serious case. He was admitted to the ICU yesterday, uh, according to our friend Cliff Higgins. Uh, Cliff is staying in close touch with Chad, and he's given me the occasional update, which I'm passing along as I can. Uh, yeah, keep Chad in your prayers and uh, you know he, he's fighting a tough battle his his family and his friends are all fighting a tough battle right now so let's just keep them all in in prayer in positive thoughts whatever, whatever you guys want to do <clears throat> but he's such a a great you know he's one of these people that you, you just think the, when you think of the YTPC you think of Chad at least I do and uh and get well because it's not the same without you buddy it's just not the same without you so pray for chad pray for chad's family um if you are interested curmudgeon piper has set up a gofundme for chad and his family to, to help him through this time i don't have much more detail than that but curmudgeon did a video yesterday and i'll put a link below to that video uh as well if you're interested in uh in helping out chat in that way the prayer works definitely definitely works and uh i don't know you know, if, you, if, if the non-religious folks out there are cringing right now, just just replace prayer with positive energy or whatever whatever you're comfortable with. There's something about maybe it's maybe okay. I'm gonna get all scientific scientificy on you now. Maybe it's just the fact that the person who's being prayed for knows that they're being prayed for, and that gives them a different psychological outlook than they would have had if they did not know that. Okay, that's, I don't think that's how it works, but maybe it works that way. Still, it's, it's a powerful thing. Even if that's the only effect, it's, it's a powerful effect. So, don't, don't ever underestimate the power of prayer. It also is an excellent way to, uh, self-reflect you know it's not supposed to be but but let's face it it's hard to spend a lot of time alone and in silence um speaking with god without in some sense speaking with yourself um, or at least telling god about yourself and that that's a form of self-reflection and i'd like to believe that at the same time we are being filled with grace and that grace is aiding in that self-reflection and guiding us um, it's powerful stuff and you know you call it meditation if you want take some time out to do it you know 10 minutes a day Ten minutes a day. Even we, we were taught when I was in school to do an examination of conscience every every morning uh, oh, and every night before going to bed. Or maybe it was only every night, I don't remember. But we do the examination of conscience. And it's something that I still do. Um, I, I can't say I do it every night, but I, but I do it frequently. And it's just, you know, how did today go? Did I behave today in a way that's consistent with my uh, my values? And I'm, I'm trying to de-religify it as much as possible for a broad audience but you know that's really what it comes down to did i act in a way today that makes me proud and uh it's a, it's a useful exercise 
right, folks? I've kept you long enough on a beautiful Sunday morning. Sorry to uh, go off on a tangent there, uh, but yeah, you'll probably enjoy it. And uh, most importantly, think about Chad. Think about Ed. Go check out Ed's channel. Enter his giveaway. Great prizes. A lot of fun. All right, folks. I will see you probably on Wednesday with another video. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.